Hey guys, welcome to Geeky Live. I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. We have a very special edition of the show today. He's We're our gonna... new host. Yeah, our Forever new more. host. Oh, okay. I guess we can't really say that, huh? He's not our new host. <laughs> that would be funny though, but Tom Merritt is going to join us today. Hey Tom, how are you? Hey, thanks for uh, inviting me along. This is going to be fun. Yeah. yeah, you guys know him from Daily Tech News Show and uh, from many other projects that he's currently doing and has done in the past. That's but right. He's the one that actually uh, represents us all when we talk about professionalism and that tech is true. journalism. Oh, that's nice. It's certainly <laughs> he, not he, us. He we, actually we turn, exceeds yeah, everyone else. <laughs> we, we look to him to be the uh, standout man. So. Why he agreed to come on this show, I have no idea. <laughs> you're too nice. You're too nice. No, I was I was looking for a, a good couple of smart folks to hang out with and talk about this Samsung announcement with. So I was really, really pleased uh, that you guys were willing to have me along. Yeah, so this is going to be fun. So Samsung, as as Tom just said, um, has their uh, unpacked five conference or announcement press press release uh, from Mobile World Congress yeah. and uh, we're just gonna sit here and chat about it see what's coming out they're supposed to announce the Galaxy S5 that's we will the rumor. See. Well, let's see what they're doing right now because I think they've, they've got a, a whole orchestra going on over there what are the, what's going on there Ken we got any audio Seem to be a lot of violins. There are. Yes, there and are. There, <laughs> and there are a lot of people there. Here we go. So I guess okay. this is really just the pre-show. They're getting everybody jazzed up. Literally. Haha, <laughs> you like what I did there? I think it's more classical, but that's okay. Well, whatever. They're getting everybody classic up. That doesn't really work. All right. So, so you're ready for a classic announcement. So Tom, what do you think? What do you think we're going to see on this uh, this event today? Yeah, I think it's pretty fair to say it's Samsung Galaxy S5. I mean, they put the five all over the teaser video. Uh, they've, they've even said in the Korean press a couple of times that they were going to announce the Samsung Galaxy S5 in March. So that's dead on. Whether we're going to get anything crazy in that feature phone or not, or if any crazy features in that phone or not is the question, right? Uh, from all accounts, from all the reliable sources, it's going to be durable, and and that seems to bear out some of those words that they were using in the teaser. And it's going to have a better processor, better display, better camera, like you would expect. But I don't think we're going to see anything like a fingerprint sensor or an eye scanner. Some people were rumoring. Right. Uh, I, I think it's this is going to be a fairly much of a, an incremental upgrade for the Galaxy. Well, that, we've been seeing a lot of incremental updates, um, especially at CES this year. I mean, I think this year is one of those incremental years, if, well, if you don't mind me calling it that. And I'm wondering, okay, so this event isn't all about just this this uh, phone, right? I mean, there, we could see anything in here. We could see tablets or other stuff, couldn't we? Could. I well, mean, and I know they just came out with all those pro, they announced the pro ones at CES, right? Yeah, tablet-wise, and they also have already announced their Tizen-based Galaxy Gear watches, the successor to the original Gear, the Gear 2 and the Gear 2 Neo. They'll probably uh, show the, those off here, but I'm it sure, right? Probably yeah, probably be so the highlight. We're all going to sit there and go, yeah, we already read the press release. Thanks, Samsung. Move it along. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you who aren't aware of the new Galaxy, I'm sorry, you can't say Galaxy anymore. The new uh, right. Tizen uh, Gear watches, they have two versions, the update from the Galaxy Gear, um, and it has a you know, better camera and stuff, I think. Um, and then also the Neo, which is the version that does not have a camera at all on the watch. So those are their two announcements as of this morning. Personally, I think that um, I would not really be interested in the one with the camera. I. I I've taken to I've taken to actually enjoying wearing this little pebble, Tom. Have you tried these things yet? You know, I know a few friends who have the pebble and they swear by them, uh, but I haven't ever worn one. I don't really wear a watch all that often, so I haven't really got sucked into the whole smartwatch thing personally. So I used to be a huge watch buff. I mean, like yeah. I bought expensive ones. I had a collection. I mean, and this was when I was in the corporate world. I wore a watch every. I felt naked without my watch, and then after I stopped working. Um, I stopped wearing watches and I have not been wearing a watch regularly for years until I got this one. Yeah. And there's really two very simple reasons I use it. I don't care that it has a clock on it, but it gets all of my SMSs. And it's the only way I've ever seen him read his uh, text messages, <laughs> which is pretty impressive. 
And uh, and also if people send me like, uh, for example, if somebody tweets at me right now, if you were to tweet at John Pose, uh -oh. it will come, I will see it come through on my watch and stuff like that, okay? Yeah. So wow. the big deal for me is I don't have to pull my phone out to be checking it constantly. I just kind of glance at my wrist and see, you know, why is it buzzing at the moment? Looks like the... Uh Press conference might be starting. Let's turn up audio and see what's happening. Oh. I guess we're still playing music, but not live. I, I'm guessing it was just in between songs here. Okay. <laughs> they should be starting anytime soon, unless they're going to be late. The needle was between tracks on the <laughs> virtual orchestra. Yeah, Tom, exactly. while we've got you, and since they haven't started yet, I want to know what else you're up to, because you've yes. had a number of changes lately. You, you know, you, you've got a lot of things going on, so tell us about your current, your current projects. Sure, real quickly, uh, Daily Tech News Show is the main one. Uh, 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Every afternoon, I record a half hour of Daily Tech News, just like it says on the tin. Uh, and that's been going <laughs> what, what really well. Entail? We've been using Patreon, which I know you guys have been using, too, uh, to support that. Yeah, yeah Patreon. It, it, uh, you, you've uh, found some success with it. We've found some success with it. It seems like a, a lot of people are kind of jumping on the Patreon band, bandwagon lately, yeah. which is great to see. We got into that because we used it to launch a show called Cord Killers, uh, which is all about cord cutting and over-the-top television and things like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Instant Prime and all of that sort of thing. Uh, so I do that once a week with Brian Brushwood. Uh, and then I've got a weekly wrap-up show of geeky topics uh, called Current Geek with Scott Johnson that's going really well. Uh, Sword and Laser, which is the science fiction and fantasy book club I've been doing for years with Veronica Belmont, just started our season two of uh, video. So yeah, it's been, been, been keeping busy. Those are just four of the shows. I got a couple other things that are sort of seasonal in the offing as well. Awesome. So uh, where's the best place that somebody can go to find everything that you do? Yeah, TomMerritt.com, two R's, two T's, uh, collects everything I do. There's a blog post every time I put a new episode up or have some guest appearance or something like that. Uh, there's a subscribe page where you can go through and find all the shows that I do. And if you'd like to subscribe, that'll give you the link right there. And they can support you at Patreon.com. I'm assuming slash Tom Merritt might lead them to all your stuff. Uh, it's patreon.com slash ace detect. Okay. The best of way course, is, to, <laughs> is to actually just type Tom Merritt into the search and that'll right. pull me up. Okay. <laughs> um, on, in the chat room, we, uh, we have uh, a few comments. I'm just going to get it out of the way. We're at a Samsung event. We're talking about Samsung. And John is showing his Apple logo, of course. Nice. See, mine has my pretty little Dexter on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Why don't I have a Dexter? I don't know oh, why you didn't nice. put Dexter. Yeah. yeah, I should have a Dexter on mine. <laughs> I have a I have a name tag on my MacBook. Let's uh, see it. Or can you not? Yeah. Well, it's kind of it's actually a little. Yeah, party. it's tied down. That's all right. That's all right. It's not like it, you know we put these stickers on there. It's not like people don't know what we're right. What, what's oh, I wonder what computer that is. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, my. There you go. And uh, we are paying attention to the oh, chat room. Oh, there we go. Room. Oh, there we go. Nice. nice. Clara. <laughs> We are paying attention to the chat room, so as we go through um, all of the announcements today, any questions or uh, thoughts that you guys have, be sure to chime in. And I did see earlier, The King says that he was, he is the your, King? The King. Oh, The King. Right. The King. <laughs> I'm sure you know him, Tom. He says he's your number one uh, black fan, I believe. Oh, he, well, he specified that. Oh, because <laughs> Digital Phil had taken the other one. So. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, yes, <laughs> okay, got oh, it. So got Digital it. Phil was the digital number Phil one was, white fan. Was, was okay. But is Digital Phil white? Has anyone ever seen mm. Digital Phil? We don't know this. Yes, he is a bit of a mystery. Mm. <laughs> Snow crash. Ben wants to know where is my Galaxy Tab. Oh yeah, you don't have any of your tablets up here. Well, which you is know, surprising. Uh, my phone is connected to my Samsung Galaxy Note sitting in the other room, and you have your Note right there. Yeah, I use my Note 3. What phone do you use, Tom? Uh, I have an iPhone 5. I don't have the 5S, uh, but I use a Nexus 7 as a tablet. Okay. Gotcha. A lot so of I people keep, like keep the in the Android world. Yeah, and we all have to, to use both devices and be in both worlds at the same time. To know what's going on. By the yeah, way, and Eileen uses like three different Android phones, so I kind of get to play with her sometimes too. <laughs> right. 
By the way, just going to let you know, uh, according to Woopra, we have like uh, nearly 300 people on the website watching. So you guys don't be shy. If you want to hop in the chat room um, and, you know, right there on geeky.tv forward slash live, you can you can chat at us. We're seeing your comments coming through. Guest 20579, first time on IRC. Welcome. Welcome, and he says, uh, show me some S5. Well, we are, we will as soon as Samsung decides to. Did the stream stop, Ken? I still see trumpet players and violinists right now okay. on my. We've got to update our, on our end. Paul says, okay, there we go. Paul says there's 120 folks in the, uh, in the, chat, in the chat room. Right now, if you're not seeing what, what, we're, to, what we're referring to, the uh, Samsung video, they're just playing violins and, and playing lots of pretty music, uh, I guess, in anticipation of what's going to come. But uh, maybe they're running a little bit late. Just waiting on, they, they, they like to keep people waiting on these things. Well, why not? We are sitting here <laughs> anxiously awaiting. It's like going to a rock concert. Right, right. Now, do, Am I remembering, because we've done several of these, am I remembering correctly, or was it the last time that Samsung did one of these things, they caught a bunch of flack for like being all yes. sexist or something like so that? So it was, it was their, um, broad, their Broadway uh, homage, I would say. That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> I don't remember what happened. I don't remember why people got all pissed about it. Well, they just went over the top. I mean, there were there were some people uh, pointing out some sexist elements to it, but really, I felt like the biggest problem was they spent a lot of time doing skits and shtick, and they didn't really focus on the product that much, uh, at, the, at least at the last 45 minutes of the announcement. And the reason that they're doing this at Mobile World Congress instead of on their own, which they did the last two, I think, outside of a conference, partly has been attributed to the fact that they want to tone it down a little and not take some of that flack that they did for these big productions that they did the past couple of years. Well, I have to say, I mean, when, when I watched that event, it was, it was hard not to give them some kind of respect for trying something new. I mean, what other company has ever gone out there and taken a product launch and done a Broadway show? If it was good, if it was bad, whatever, but they at least tried something different and cool, right? I felt like somebody who worked on the marketing team in Samsung was a big Broadway fan and finally got to realize their childhood <laughs> dreams by putting that thing together. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I thought. I thought, wow, that is a major, major win for the marketing department in terms of just get, grabbing budget. Because how much, look, I mean, how much do you think they spent on that one? Or how much, how about this one? I mean, did you see the size of the audience here and all this stuff? I mean, how much money are they spending on these events? Well, that's, that's probably another reason they're doing it at Mobile World Congress is they can get Mobile World Congress to foot some of the bills. Some of the infrastructure is already in place. When they did that Broadway show on their own in New York and, and, and previously, they had, they had to pay for everything, right? Um, so, yeah. That's a, that's a much bigger deal. Millions and millions of dollars. I, I will say that Samsung seems to, and, and by the way, I, I agree with this tactic, but they seem to have better marketing chops than their competitors. I, I just think they're really, they, they, they find the way to allocate the budget to, to just be everywhere all the time. But what is their message? I mean, that's the one thing that I find pro a problematic with Samsung. They are they are everywhere. You're right. They're they're not. They're, they don't have a problem with awareness. But when you think of Samsung, what do you think of? Yeah, that's a good question. No, there's no one thing that I think of. I just think omnipresent. It's like mm -hmm. <laughs> TVs. Phones, so they're the NSA. Oh, yeah, great. computers, right. tablets. Uh, refrigerators i mean literally they're like what can't you buy that's a samsung you know they have well, a banking arm too yeah do they really yeah samsung, samsung Bank. financial yeah they well they do everything i'm i'm not surprised i didn't know that but when, when am i going to get a samsung automobile <laughs> you probably already can a samsung smart car <laughs> you're definitely get, getting to see samsung in cars i wouldn't be surprised if you yeah you a little mini electric car self-driving car perhaps Nice. So um, the the chat room is saying that Android, that, that one of the websites has uh, has stuff coming out, but nobody else. I I'm not finding that. So uh, I don't think that our stream is behind. 
Let me know in the chat room if that is indeed uh, the case. Preston Weather One says the Galaxy S5 has already been announced according to Techno Buffalo. Techno Buffalo may have gotten a hold of a press release or something like that. A lot of times they will put out the press releases at the start of the announcement. I'm right. looking at the Engadget Live blog and they're still taking pictures of violinists. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at a few different ones and nobody has anything. So I'm assuming that we're still. Uh, still on target with our our stream yeah i mean got, sometimes those things can get behind but not this much behind. well this and this could be a problem because i'm looking at the techno buffalo website and they have something that says the samsung galaxy s5 hands-on interesting and it's uh it's february 24 2014 so it could be that they accidentally leaked something yeah and that's like a, i hope they'll catch a lot of flack for that if they did Somebody, uh, somebody back at their offices uh, misread the, uh, mis mistranslated the time zones and posted an hour early, maybe. <laughs> and that does happen, you know? Yeah. Yep, it does. Well, they're reporting in there it offers a 5.1 inch display with 1080p resolution, 2 gig of RAM, 16 gig or 32 gig of storage, blah, 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 blah. Um, IP67 water resistant. There's a lot of details in this thing. <laughs> so I guess we can right, just so skip the whole thing here, Tom. And... Um, nope. Where, where was that hands on? Let's see. Uh, it's at technobuffalo.com. They even have a video posted. Uh, and it's two posts earlier than their own live blog. I know. That's funny. How did that happen? That is happen? interesting. Oh, wait. Do I see something happening? Uh -oh, three. Three. Two. Two. Something's going we on, have a Tom. countdown. <laughs> All right, let's turn audio up. And uh, Ken, could you maybe have Dave? I know I'm not much of a photographer, but my photos always turn out amazing. That's how I feel. <laughs> I'm no fitness expert, but I know my body better than anyone. We're going through all Fashion the isn't everything to me. teaser words. But I express myself in my own unique way. Fitness design. Even at the speed of life, I can still live life at my own pace. That's a tautology. <laughs> no matter where I am, there isn't a moment I won't be ready for. Chat room's uh, pointing out that a lot of reviews went up at 2 p.m. Oh, Eastern. yeah. Okay. I, I guess Samsung was just really late. Ladies and gentlemen, from marketing team Samsung Electronics headquarters, please give a warm welcome to David Park. All right, here we go. And it so begins. David Park's going to kick it off for us here. Hello, everyone. For those with us in Barcelona and the rest of the world viewing our live stream, welcome. This is Samsung Unpacked 2014. Wait, he didn't use the word five. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we have a little counter? First, let's appreciate the Barcelona Opera House Drinking Chamber game. Orchestra. They did a very nice job. It was beautiful. So this is a fantastic time for us to be together. The way we live day to day is constantly changing. And more than ever, new exciting opportunities are within our grasp. We're very excited to show you tonight innovative devices that fit with our time. Devices designed and built to enhance our daily experiences. By placing the world in our hands, they free us to live life to its fullest. He's talking slow even by and Texas standards. I know. <laughs> Please welcome they always do President the and CEO, things. Head of the IT and Mobile Communications Division, Mr. J.K. Shin. All right, so we have a change, change up on stage here. I know that they talk like that so that everyone can understand, especially right, because they're talking to a global audience. Yeah, you know, yeah. you have to kind of translate. J.K. Shin gave all the specs last year and then took off and they started their Broadway show. Oh, nice. right. Hello.
Welcome to everyone here and to all of you who are joining us around the world. It's great seeing you in Barcelona, the hometown of mobile innovation. <laughs> Our industry continues to set the standard of what comes next. This collective innovation has allowed us all to enjoy continuous growth for the past several years. Samsung has been one of the major contributors of this high growth. Especially, Galaxy S3 has been a key driver of rapid smartphone growth. Let me take a moment to say, I truly appreciate the 200 million customers around the world who have chosen our Galaxy S devices. Wow. 200 million people. That's a good way to drop that number. That is. I really appreciate, really appreciate the 200 we million. Are very and the profit margin we made on everyone. Yes. <laughs> and we know that we only succeed when customers choose us. We know that we must continue to own that choice. They are kind of then, putting the customer first here. How can we continue to own the consumer's choice in this ever-changing dynamic industry? People are easily excited about technology breakthroughs, disruptive and earth-breaking. As a tech company, we are very keen on the newest and the latest technology development as well. Samsung put the press release out already. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Paul Dixon put, found it in the chat oh, okay. room. Yep. Thanks, Paul. People choose meaningful and relevant improvement for day-to-day -day use. And that small, once the further evolution always changes the world. That's the meaningful innovation. How do we know? We ask the customers across the world. And what we have learned is surprisingly simple. Our consumers do not want eye-popping technology or the most complex technology. OK, what do they want? Our consumers <laughs> want durable design and performance. Our consumers want a simple, yet powerful camera. Our consumers want faster and seamless connectivity. And our consumers want a phone that can help them stay fit. Of course, he's talking about 200 million customers, so these products. are not all we geeks are like all us who want the best today. and the latest. And, he say, and what he's going to say is, so we gave them an IPS7 waterproof phone with a heart rate monitor and a fingerprint unlock. <laughs> according to what I'm reading. I will not make you wait any longer. Here. That brings us to the products we are about to introduce today. These products are the result of those simple but very important inspirations. I will not make you wait any longer. <laughs> Here is the Samsung Galaxy S5. All right, let's see how funky this little commercial is. <laughs> I like the, back, the way the back looks. That's nice. That's nice. Should have some built-in uh, grip. I love commercials that don't show anything. Well, I mean, it's just a phone. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? That was, I mean, you take a picture of it. Did you just say that's a phone? You take a picture with it? You take a picture of it. I mean, the Samsung Galaxy S5. It looks uh, about the same size. 
Yeah, it's a 5.1 inch screen, so it's only a tiny bit smaller. Samsung uh, Galaxy larger. S5 comes with the full LTE coverage with the support of Category 4. It provides the fastest and most stable Wi Fi performance based on 802.11 AC standard and Wi Fi MIMO. The Galaxy S5 also supports smart bonding for Wi Fi and LTE to create an even faster and more stable connection. That's pretty cool. It's nice. The We're Galaxy S5 has a we? useful camera oh. function. It gives consumers the top three most wanted camera features. Taxi cab hates First. the square Fast camera in the chat focus. room. Oh, yeah. Enriched color with advanced HDR. I hate it when they use HDR to describe I what know. these phones do. <laughs> User experience. The Galaxy S5 provides new resources to help people stay fit. These dedicated fitness tools are designed to work with our gear series to provide consumers with the best personalized experience. We have built in a heart rate sensor. I like that. That's cool. It is the that first is of nice, its kind. but does it work? Our real time How does it work? fitness coaching services together with the gear can be tailored each user. The, the problem with that is it's such a big device when you're working out to and exercising, you don't want to be holding that in your hand. Practical. Galaxy S5 supports IP67 water and dust resistance. That's a big deal. That's very cool. Yes. You built in straight to a phone. That's great. Samsung. You going to drop yours in some water? Yeah. Tom? The One meter for 30 minutes. Security. See what happens. <laughs> Enterprise users with the new evolution of Knox. I don't think we're seeing, uh, I haven't seen it in the press release, the, the uh, will be fingerprint tomorrow. reader from the chat room, guys. I saw it on The you Verge. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah. Time with the ultra power saving mode. Uh, why what are is you that? clapping for and ultra power <laughs> saving mode? What am I missing? More about mobile payments and other useful features. I thought the we Galaxy S5 has a unique perforated pattern. It is modern and refreshing. We provide a variety of color options to express each user's personality. The new features of the Galaxy S5 are great complements to our new gear device. Samsung's gear portfolio has three new additions. I think I'm going to have an epileptic seizure. <laughs> We're already on to the gear. Wow. But well, we he did this last year, too, where they came out, and I thought it was going to be a real quick bam, bam, like, here's all the specs announcement, yeah. and then they followed it up with the show. They represent the next generation of the uh, smart wearables designed to balance in the visual style with the personal life and connectivity needs. The Samsung Gear 2 and Gear 2 Neo are chic. Personal devices that help consumers manage their lives using a wide range of features. Are they thinner? Because the original one was Ladies so and big and bulky and it was terrible. It doesn't look thinner the to me. Samsung Gear Fit. Now that looks cool to me. That, that I would wear. And did you see there's a sensor on the bottom? I bet you that's the heart rate sensor. It's through the so skin Duke or something. The Fit has an iconic design for consumers who are focused on being stylish on the go. But didn't they say the phone has? It is equipped is with the curved yeah. screen that fits perfectly on your wrist. The Gear Fit will be an ideal method to check your heart rate when you are exercising. It conveys messages, SNS updates, missed calls, and a lot from your phone. 
We operate in a highly competitive, fast-moving marketplace. We continue to respond and evolve. We do so in the spirit of an open, flexible, and cooperative mobile industry and user community. The Galaxy S5 and new Gear products are the result of that philosophy. I'm just curious, does it pop they out like the Huawei way um, of our commitment uh, and our watch vision. that was just announced? I promise you, you become that a Bluetooth we will continue to focus mm -hmm. on what, what yeah. matters most to consumers. You should watch my show. Oh, yeah. Our innovation <laughs> will never stop. And we will always be inspired by the people we serve around the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess it does. Thank you. Thank you. So did they show the Gear 2 Neo, which they, is the they, they smaller, did. cheaper version? It, it was everybody. in there for a second. I, I have to think they're going to come back and give us more detail now. They have yeah. to, because we've missed a lot. Let's dive deeper to get a good look at how these new devices truly deliver on the five aspects that consumers care about most. To do this, I'd like to invite to the stage Vice President of the European Telecommunication Operations, Jean Daniel, aim. I want music every time somebody announces my name. Yeah. Can I get that? Yeah, we'll just pipe that in. Okay. Just need to hire an orchestra to follow you around. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, David. And good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you again. Improving human life is at the heart of Samsung and in the hands of our customers every time they use our Galaxy S devices. It's a big mission statement. We are so uh -huh. proud of the fact our smartphones positively impact everyday lives. And as Jackie Shin mentioned, continuing to be the choice for our customers is our number one consideration. This is why while we were planning the Galaxy S5, we focused on understanding what's essential to them and how to enrich their lives with fundamental, meaningful, and relevant improvements. And as you'll see tonight, when it comes to the voice of our customers, we are listening. First, we hear you want a device to fit your modern lifestyle, designed with a glam look plus performance to keep up with your busy days. Glam look. Can we, hey, Two, can, can you take their audio down? We here just, just want a great here. camera that is simple Does to use. Does anybody else think that Three, all of the talking the that goes in between the, so the, in the, the specs and the actual announcement is just, it gets annoying. It really I mean, does Tom, get annoying. do you want to hear Four. this? No, I don't. But then we, that's our job, right? Is like, give, just give me the facts, give me the stuff. Uh, they're, they're trying to create an emotional reaction in people in the audience, and we're just not susceptible to that. I guess that's it. Okay. All right. Sorry, Ken. You, you can give it back to the people. Now, let's see how these five qualities live in the Galaxy S5 and how coming back to the basics helped us drive innovation in a direction that makes sense for our customers. They, they take what would take, it would take literally three minutes to just make this announcement yeah. and they draw well, it out into like an hour long event. Urban. They're trying to create that hype, Finally, trying to create that excitement that Steve and Jobs was so good at. Because you can say the same thing about any Steve Jobs tonight, keynote that ever happened. It could oh, have yeah, been done totally. much quicker. Yeah. But he was a master at getting people like raising their emotions and getting them really excited about things that later you wondered why you were so excited at the <laughs> right. time. But these, but I mean, outside of Steve Jobs, I haven't seen anyone else be able to really do that, you know, in an effective manner. And these certainly, these are just getting more annoying as, as the time goes Steve on. That's because Steve Jobs had a kind of a, I don't give a F attitude. Right. And that comes across. These guys clearly do, yeah. you know, so they just aren't going to be, you know, quite as appealing sure see how it catches the light that was electric blue i believe yes, he said will also come in a great blue gram white, song <laughs> charcoal black and copper gold 
and we'll be adding designer covers too. Nice, there's a gold one, of course. This is all combined. That's mine. To bring one gorgeous device into the hands of our customers, enriching their life with style <laughs> and innovation. That's a new thing, but a fairly new all. thing, people adding Art. designer inside yeah. versions. Too. So we've refined the user interface are. so it's clean, vibrant, with a unique geometric pattern inspired by the prism effect of diamonds. Oops. Do you see the new <laughs> unlocking effect here? The I didn't look catch that. Did you? you just, instead of moving your unplanted. finger straight across, you move it in when an you arc. Toggle the settings menu what here, I always wanted. You see a new collection of icons that are larger, more visual, and easier to navigate. And circular. Yeah. <laughs> Want your favorite app right at the tip of your finger? Our one-touch toolbox is here for you. Now let's take a closer look at this mesmerizing device. Mesmerizing. At the display of the Galaxy S5, which is a 5.1 Super AMOLED screen with full HD. This delivers a superior viewing experience ever brighter than TFT LCDs found in other smartphones. Another advanced technology, local contrast enhancement, uses a new algorithm to automatically analyze and segment the display under changing light conditions. So when you will use your Galaxy S5 in the blazing sun of Barcelona, it'll be clearer and easier to see. And it'll automatically do this. But Is that what he's saying? But we about the opposite situation, too. You can now make your display extremely dim, more than ever before, so your eyes will feel more comfortable in the dark or when you don't want to bother the people around you. Well, actually, I like that. If it, if it happens Not automatically, if it's a button you have to do, yeah, that doesn't I agree help with me. technology analyzes the incoming light and the content you're viewing to optimize the screen and give you the best viewing experience. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And to provide this all day long, we have significantly increased the battery capacity. Now, with our optimized power management, the Galaxy S5 boasts 10 hours of web surfing with an LTE connection and an even longer 12 hours of video playback. I can certainly That's use extra battery life. Yeah. Do you remember what the, uh, the previous version was, Tom? No, I was trying to remember that. Yeah. Uh, 2,800 billion hours is not, it's not bad, but it's not like interface. the biggest one you'll ever see no. even display. this weekend at Mobile World Congress. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought the other, the previous was 2,200. It may have been design. 25, but I thought it was 2,200. Okay. Let's move on the camera now. Yeah, let me hear about this camera. Oh, it does HDR, John. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm 1080p. 4K capability. Nice. Is At so what frame rate? This. The camera is core. The Galaxy S5 has a new fast autofocus technology, a new HDR mode for pictures and videos, and new other features like selective focus to help you take better pictures. Let me give you a snapshot of this great camera. For the first time in a smartphone, our new hybrid autofocus combines standard contrast AF with a technology usually found in professional DSLRs called phase detection. We put this hybrid AF on a 16 megapixel sensor, which is even larger than the S4s, along with a new companion chipset for image processing, so users get increased precision faster response time, and a much more exciting camera experience. So no matter how quickly your subject moves, be it pigeons circling La Sagrada Familia, or your kids winning goal, you'll be able to capture the moment in just 0 0.3 seconds. This is the fastest ever autofocus for a smartphone. That is pretty fast. Samsung employees applaud. That is pretty fast. Samsung I said it the same time, employees. Now let's talk about high dynamic range, what we call rich tone. As you know, HDR is a solution for taking good photos when there is too little or too much light. 
But to get satisfactory results, you know, you have to remain stable, very stable. And it takes precious time to process the images too. So how is our new rich tone mode better? Well, it instantly controls the light exposure at the moment you focus to give you in real time a picture that has the contrast of real life. So what you see is what you get. And not only for still pictures, now HDR also works for videos. This is also a smartphone first. Now that would be pretty cool. Now, HDR video? let's say yeah. you want a little more edge to your photography. One of the benefits of using a DSLR camera is the shallow depth of field. With our new feature called selective focus, you get a similar control of what's in focus and no, you what don't. isn't, allowing you to apply this kind of out of focus effect. Like That's what pro. kind of what the Lumia devices have, right? This right, is a cool right. Way to take your picture but this is post. Level. This is in post, right? Not no, it, live. No, no, what happens is. The, this is Remember, a great camera, they don't save raw files. They, right. Everything gets saved as a JPEG. So that means it's completely clearer, processed in the camera and then saved. To yeah. better, so that's just a software trick. It's not, it's not really Galaxy mimicking the effect of, of a ready for shallow depth of field closer. lens. But it's better than nothing. But it's not enough to be beautiful. You've got to be fast. In today's world, it's all about one thing, speed. As our mobile experience advances, we need the fastest network to sustain high traffic volume. I want to hear how this so blended mode is supposed to work. Comes with right. full LTE I doubt they're going to give us much information on that. Four and up to eight bands in any given region. This allows remarkable data connection with every carrier. Beside coverage, we all want faster network speeds, no more buffering. That's why we've combined the fifth generation of Wi-Fi with the new MIMO technology to nearly double Wi-Fi connection speeds. And this also is a world first in smartphones. How, Next up, the how booster. Are they going to do this? The download booster marries this enhanced Wi-Fi connection with LTE. And this combination will give you blazing fast download like never before. Imagine a gigabyte in just 30 seconds. That means your full HD movie is ready to go before your microwave popcorn has finished popping. Over what network? <laughs> now, they bonded the two motives is what it sounds like he's saying. But the point is, you, whatever you're limited to the speed of your carrier's network and your Wi-Fi. Plus, it doesn't just you can't just bond through two different quickly, completely separate networks. You okay, to be you, you have to. You could do load balancing. Your lifestyle. Now, we all know. We're gonna have to wait for more information on that, John. Electronics, Sounds electronics like. don't mix. They like moved when on. Water is spilled on your phone or you drop it in a puddle or in the sink, and then you're in trouble. C'est la vie. But this is not a problem anymore, because the Galaxy S5 is water and dust resistant. I like Yay! how they always say resistant, not proof. No, yeah. nobody ever uses uh. the word proof. And because your phone is now water sued. resistant, you don't have to be resistant to water. Watch your video in the tub, sing along your playlist in the shower. Don't worry about the rain. That is awesome. Yes, that is pretty awesome. <laughs> for your Just lifestyle. take your phone right in the shower with you. Why not? <laughs> water resistant is not waterproof. So don't oh. keep it underwater. But if it does huh. get wet, it'll be good. Nobody ever says proof, but they now, the never S5 actually talk about it's not they waterproof. Don't they don't explain that. I That's, like that he that did that. Yeah. I gotta give him credit. Mode. How many of you have had your phone die at a critical moment. I have. I'm raising my hands. Last week, oh, for yeah. example, <laughs> I spent a whole day using my phone with no access to a charger, and I was invited in the evening to a nice dinner. So 
with no time to go home, I was frantically looking for a charger because I must be reachable for the babysitter of my kids. Um, this make is a, a note, stressful let's situation. send him an external battery, battery. USB oh, battery, because <laughs> I mean, it's not like, like a new technology, okay? Saving mode, problem solved. That doesn't help him it with his story, John. I'm sorry. To black and white and shut down all features except the essentials like SMS and calls. So for example, if my Galaxy S5 is down to only 10% of battery, it can still last up to 24 hours in standby. That's pretty impressive. That is? That's pretty good. Cool. Monty says he keeps an extra 14,000 milliamp hour battery with him. Well, that should be long enough for yeah. me to get back home after dinner. In most cases. <laughs> This guy likes That's to hedge. The Galaxy Not waterproof. Yeah. In yeah. most cases. In right. battery life. But it will also protect your data at a whole new level. And the key is right here. Finger scanner uses your fingerprint I as can't the believe ultimate they're just password now. to validate your 35 identity. Minutes in saying this. It yeah. is encrypted on your device and never shared. All in most cases. A simple swipe of your finger <laughs> to make secure <laughs> payments. No need to key in your credit card number or your mother's maiden name or your first pet's name. So it's or not the button whatever crazy itself. Question they will think of next, it is the button, but the you start on the screen and then pull over the button. As simply and securely as this does. Also, finger scanner unlocks private mode where images, videos, and other types of files are kept secured because only your fingerprint will unlock them. When I travel, for example, I like to keep a copy of my passport with me, just in case. Now, I can carry it in my Galaxy S5 in a secure way because I know I can only access it in private mode. With this. But the government won't take that. That's for the security Don't of my chop data. your finger off and use it to unlock now, the phone. Now, what about the security <laughs> of my kids when they play with my phone? Rob, the IT, it called it porn mode. Security of nice. Phone where they play with it. This next feature is perfect when sharing your smartphone with the little members of the family. With kids mode, I can, with only one click, make my phone kid-friendly and provide them with a number of fun pre-installed applications and design and designate other apps, including games and videos. That's that a big advantage for a lot of folks. That is. Anybody who has a kid knows how, yeah. how well, easily kids steal those phones and play around with them. That is huge, of how actually. Your life will be powered by the Galaxy S5. My but sister's always, lifestyle. you know, removing Maybe. apps or closing apps or trying to move things around and, uh, so that tell us a bit her more kid can use priority it. Priority so. for a fantastic lifestyle. Thanks, JD. Cool. What's exciting to me is these these new uh, features. We'll see these trickle into so the our other mobile devices phones as well. Sure. Actually, on the kids mode gesture, just they need to support more pre installed, goals. or can you add the number one goal, other stuff from yeah, the App question. Store to? Imagine being mode. able to monitor, inform, and track your fitness status with a device that's with you essentially all the time. A wearable device. That's the gear two. This year, Gear 2 represents progress. We kept what was successful about Gear 1. We fixed customer pain points. And then we added exciting new features that define the world of wearing your innovation. So let's focus on five key areas and start with number one, which is wear the smart style. Design improvements in Gear 2 were made with simplicity and chic in mind. And the results are both beautiful and functional. We moved also the camera, the speaker, and the mic onto the bezel. And why is that relevant to you? Because without wiring and the strap, you can swap them out. So at any time, place, or occasion, Gear 2 can reflect your personal style. 
And you don't have to have a huge, thick strap. Right. The strap comes standard in three colors, black, brown, and orange. And designer versions are also available. Gold. (laughs) And did you notice this? So we added a home button, like the ones that we have on our smartphones. So whatever app you're using, you can always return to the home menu just by pressing this button, and you don't have to flick all the way back. Thank God that worked. And the entire <laughs> UX is an evolution over that the is, original. That is nice, if it doesn't add to the size. With the freedom to, to choose size. from different themes and application settings. We have more watch face options, and you can set an image or different color for the background, and you can even change the font. And with instant notifications, you get the information you need. You get calls, messages, schedules, and application alerts. Plus, you get your heart rate. That so makes more sense than the while phone to me. To music, yeah. That's a must. But finding a place to put your phone, whether it's your pocket, or strapped to your arm, or inside that cup holder on the treadmill, well, that's a pain. I have a question. But with four gigabytes of memory, the Gear 2 is also a standalone music player. Hmm. So you just transfer your playlist onto your Gear 2, you leave your phone behind, and you get to free your workout. That's pretty cool. Now you can now you can go without yeah. carrying that phone like you were saying yeah, earlier. Yeah, that's great. This whole fitness thing, they say, we know what customers want. They want this fitness the thing. Do the customers really ecosystem. want that, or do we do we just want the customers to get fit? You know, is it, do they think we're so fat that we need this, or do we really want this? Well, I think a lot of uh, you know the wearables that have sold so far have been the Fitbits and the and the uh, and the Nike Fuel bands and stuff like that. Those seem to be the ones people actually buy. Yeah, okay. th- those wouldn't be so popular if people didn't want them, you know? I mean, it's not that they're just pushing it on us. I just don't think anybody's using them to actually get fit. I think that they're cool and all that, but I well, just don't... doesn't care if they use them. Yeah, <laughs> no, they don't, no. And to expand overall functionality, we're releasing Gear 2's SDK, so developers from around the world can easily create exciting new apps. That's good. Number three. Number three is more choices. Gear 2 also comes in a range of options. So if you want a lighter version for your wrist and your wallet, Gear 2 Neo comes in black, gray, and orange. Yeah, if you're more into the fitness stuff and you don't need the camera so much, Gear 1 and Note 3 were a great match. No, not the Neo, that other one. But with Gear 2, that's coming up, the one that wraps around your wrist. Or the uh, 17 Galaxy devices. What do they call it, Fit? Four. Number four is enhanced battery. Gear 2 has a longer battery life, lasting up to three days. And that's three times longer than our first gear. And five How long do you is say water last? and dust resistant. Three days. Gear 2's okay. ingress protection rating is 67. So rainstorm to dust storm, you're protected. Now people want an all-in-one wearable like Gear 2. But sometimes they need an even lighter option. Functional like the Gear, portable like a fitness band, and stylish. Take a look at the perfect fit. All right. If this thing will show me my texts and emails and stuff like that, this this looks like it would be good for me. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Did he say that it would? Uh, one of the other reviews I was reading said it. Okay. Let's see if he says it too. I, I, I want to know the price though, and I, I'm curious if you know they haven't released a price. Maybe he'll say it on stage. Yeah. Also, how thick is it? It looks awfully thick to me. But I would be interested in that if it's not too thick. Look, at, it looks it, really thick. It does. Not like a little thick, like really thick. Gear Fit redefines the category. Yeah. It's not like any health band out there. This is the world's first curved Super AMOLED touchscreen display on a wearable device. 
That was a <laughs> lot of prerequisites. <laughs> well, to be first, you know. It's yeah, definitely a beautiful look, born from amazing technology. It is pretty. Built for lightweight flexibility, the gear fit weighs in at 27 grams. And with the same freedom of self-expression that comes with the gear two, you can swap out the straps. Did you That's see just how... about an ounce? Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, did you see how inflexible the strap looked? But then he just snapped it out of there. Yeah. So, I so ultimately, it. you get to cater to your tastes. And standard colors come in black, gray, and orange, plus designer choices as well. The straps are also hypoallergenic. <laughs> and what elevates the gear fit He points into that a out after the Fitbit gets <laughs> yeah. you see with instant notifications on your gear fit as well. There you go. You can also interact with your Galaxy device, such as rejecting a call, controlling the alarm, and using quick message reply. And these things are impossible with other fitness bands. And you'll be happy to know, Gear Fit is compatible with 20 Galaxy devices. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's a pretty good number. Most importantly, It'll just Gear Galaxy 2 and Gear Fit have a built-in heart rate sensor. So I'm you know how your body is reacting device. to a workout. By tracking your heart rate, the fitness, t fitness manager will tell you to slow down or speed up if there's a sense that you're slacking off. Even your day-to-day -day activity, measured by the built-in pedometer on Gear 2 and Gear Fit, keep track of Slow how down. far you've walked that day or that week. So Mine Gear 2 like, and Gear Fit... Get your ass off the sofa. <laughs> now, since all gears interact with the S5, it's important to note that your fitness and health data is tracked and analyzed on the S5 with the all-new S-Health our all-in-one fitness management solution. Shelf. <laughs> Shelf. Additionally, data on exercise, <laughs> nutrition, and weight can be included manually for even more accurate analysis of your health. Manually? At the setup, they're the saying, Galaxy S5 yeah. comes with built-in support for ANSI Plus, so it can communicate with various sports and fitness-related accessories for more intensive fitness monitoring. As part of S Health, you can download an app called Coach, which gives you personalized tips and right, recommendations to be clear, the for health, reaching your I mean, in the, goals in the past, in it has all areas. been manual and unusable, Exercise, yeah. really. So food, is he saying it's sleep, stress, automatic now? And weight. Yes, he, he's saying the, the heart rate and stuff will now, go into it automatically. Now, can we please get the camera to zoom in on this? Now, you might think that this right he asked here for a zoom in. is a flash <laughs> for the camera but it's not. This is the world's first smartphone equipped with a heart rate sensor. Hold it to your neck, like a vampire. <laughs> yeah, you can't do continuous. It's just something you're gonna check in every once in yeah. a while. Like, oh, what's my heart rate now? Through the red light, it reads your heart rate. What's his and heart rate right now? He's a centerpiece of the show. new S Health. He looks so calm, but his heart rate's like so 125. <laughs> and overall focus on fitness and health. Resistance to the elements, a cool new curve, interaction across devices, and the world's first HR sensor in a smartphone, all supported by a coach who won't give up on you. Oh, We've worked that out was a funny pun. Mm. Unless the app crashes. Now that's fitness. <laughs> See, all you need is this watch, and you're fit. And of course, you have to work at we'll it, great but of cover it gives you a good no, no, you don't. motivation. You don't have to. You just <laughs> wear the watch. And if you enjoy <laughs> listening to music, you'll love our new Samsung Sound Premium headphones. Oh. I didn't expect headphones. Our Knox upgrade supports profiles for work and personal use, and access to Google mobile services such as Maps and Gmail. We'll be sharing more about Knox at the Samsung Enterprise Mobility Media event happening tomorrow. Didn't say much about those headphones, did he? Are free <laughs> no. no. From top content and service brands that make your Galaxy S5 experience even more enjoyable and productive. Gifts? I don't know what that means. 
So they give them to you free? Nice. Can you get gift apps? discovered the big five that empower you and matter most. One, style with a modern glam look. Two, better pictures with a great camera. I'm happy about the glam Three, look. I've been needing that for a while. I keep saying that. The fastest network. Four, a device protected for your lifestyle. And five, proactive health so you can stay fit. Everyone, it's been a pleasure to introduce you, our new family of devices. I hope that you've enjoyed. All right, All right. so let's turn audio down on that. And uh, Tom, I'd love your thoughts. Was that it? Is he, uh, are they wrapping the announcement already? Because uh, that's my first thought is thank you. The Gear 2 oh. and the Gear Fit. These devices are Samsung's commitment and vision to create experiences that matter the most to us all. On April 11th, we will release these incredible devices in nearly 150 countries. Oh, that was important detail. This yeah, is how we enter the new world together, embracing change and enabling it. Our curiosity will only grow as we continue to push our boundaries to meet the needs of customers around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining us tonight. It's been a pleasure. JD, Barcelona, the world, till next time. All right, we're sure they're done? <laughs> all right, now they're right, done. Now, now we're done. But wait, there's more. No, I don't think that's their, their oh, thing. Oh, yeah. That, that they're going to come back out and give us a price? No, no, no. they're not going to come. No. Why would they give you a price? Yeah, well, and they don't do that because the price varies so much globally. They just want to have that simple message. April yeah. 11th, it comes out. 150 everywhere. countries. That's pretty good. Uh, um, at least right, they're not staggering. We can kill that off. Yeah, let's kill. All right, so what did we learn today? Is there anything you want, Tom? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious, and it de definitely needs a price for me to know how curious I am, but I'm curious <laughs> about that gear fit as yeah. well. I just keep my phone on me when I go jogging, mm -hmm. uh, and it works fine. I don't feel like I need to have something, but I, th some of those cases they made about, well, you could put some music on there so you wouldn't have to have your phone, and we'll, we'll monitor your heart rate, which I don't actually monitor now. That, the, the a nice thing to have. Plus, if I got used to wearing it, then I have the text messaging, call answering response. If that thing's, I don't know, $120, that that might interest me, but I'd also have more. to switch to a Galaxy phone, I was right? Ask, uh, yeah. And that's the part where it starts to fall apart. I don't expect it to be available for iOS, but let's say I pick up a Motorola X or, or, or some kind of phone like that. Well, I would well, like to that, be able to use this and not different. lock myself into having to have Galaxy phones for the rest of my life. Right, but he said 20 different uh, Samsung devices. He said Galaxy devices. Oh. So why wouldn't you expect it to be available for uh, you know an Apple phone? I mean, personally, I think if the functionality works, it doesn't take that much to build an app that goes in iOS and lets you, I mean, that would be one great way for Samsung to get their feet in on a freaking, uh, you know, competitive market. Build an app. Let you can use our watch with an i uh, with an Apple iPhone, and then all of a sudden people get the thing. And if it's any good, they're like, "Hey, I like that. Maybe next time I'll look at their phone." So why wouldn't they do that? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. They just don't want to invest the money building on the iOS platform. They, they're but it's cheap. allergic I mean, to it, I guess. Yeah, look how much <laughs> they just spent on this thing. Look at, I mean, they, it would cost nothing. What, maybe 50 grand to build an app if you, like, really work at it hard. Man, uh, 250 grand, who cares? They, they sold 200 million of these phones. What's that? The other question I have on these is he said you can put in, uh, or you can... Um, uh, put in music f to the Two, device four itself. Gigs, up to four gigs, yeah. right? But does it work with my Pandora and Spotify apps? Well, no, because it, well, it's not gonna. It's not gonna have. It, it would have to be connected to your phone Correct. for the four G. Right, but you know, having that combo would be ideal for me and for a lot of people. Oh. Well. As opposed to having to put music on there, because I don't keep music. Yeah, it's management. It's something you have to think about. Yeah. You know, if you've got RDO, you've got Pandora, Spotify. Your music's just there. You don't have to manage it. Right. 
All right, let's talk about some of these features just real quick because we don't want to beat a dead horse. But um, <laughs> like the the camera, they said, and I'm I, I'm never a fan of them calling these things HDR because. I think for HDR, you have to you have to be able to capture the raw data and then manipulate it a bit. But they did say HDR video. That is interesting. That implies, for example, let's say you were walking outside mm -hmm. and it was a sunny day and you were beside a building and there was a shadow. So you've got this really dark, shadowy area and then you've got this super bright area. In theory, their processor should somehow even that out right. while you're shooting video. That would be interesting. That would be. Would you use that? It's not. I'm not a big video cam or uh, or photophile, so those mm -hmm. aren't the kinds of things that appeal to me personally. Mm -hmm. But it is the kind of thing that I know if if I'm actually relying on my phone to do even just family stuff, I want it to look as good as possible yeah. if I'm the average user, and, and that's going to be really appealing. I don't know if it's the make or break feature on here, but it's definitely ticking a check mark for a lot of people. Well, yeah. were there any make or break features on there? Well, <laughs> anything you heard that you thought was exciting? No. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe the water resistance. Uh, that That's probably the best feature on this thing. I think it's telling that we went right to talking about the Galaxy Gear because that's the most interesting product they announced today, the Fit, the Gear Fit yep. particularly. It's not a Galaxy. I keep saying Galaxy. The yep. Gear Fit. Uh, but the phone itself, I don't remember whether tick or talk is the is the off year, but this is this is an off year. They're not they're not really bringing out all the guns. I think they were holding that for the the S six or whatever they call the next one, uh, making it waterproof, making it durable. These these are not bad things. It's definitely an improved phone over the over the S four, and I wouldn't say that you shouldn't get it. But that's not the kind of phone that has blown me away or changed the marketplace in any way. Yeah. Yeah. Evolutionary, not revolutionary. There Which you go. is the theme of 2014, in my opinion. Yep. Now, the theme of the past several years, it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a little while. All, All right. right. Well, we'll let you go. Uh, you actually have another live show coming up very soon. Today. Yeah, just, just about an hour and a half. I'll, I'll be doing my regular daily tech news show. Obviously, we'll be talking about this. I'm going to talk about some of the Comcast Netflix stuff that John and I were kicking around earlier before the show. So, got to get prepping. All right. Well, you have a good show. You guys can watch Tom over at dailytechnewsshow.com. <laughs> Very easy to remember. And, uh, and thanks, y'all. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. TomMerritt.com for all uh, his shows and all his content. That's right. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll uh, check in with you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.